baseball player Walker Wilbanks has died after getting violently ill during Friday night's game against Oxford. 16 WABG Scott Simmons reports he may have died from too much water. Good evening. Yes, a prayer vigil now underway here on the campus of Jackson Prep. Take a look. Faculty, family, and friends gathering after what was already a hard weekend and now a harder start to the week, trying to cope with a young athlete who died way too soon. Friday night on the Jackson Prep gridiron, and number 65 on your screen is played in a real field temperature of 90 degrees at 8.30 at night. By halftime, Walker Wilbanks is vomiting and can't hold anything down. Emergency crews rushed him to the hospital where he had a seizure in the ER. He remained in critical condition until his passing Monday. His plight impacted campuses across the metro. Prayer vigils at rival Jackson Academy, at Madison Central High School, and Sunday night at midfield at Jackson Prep. We have counselors who are on hand. We've augmented our, our staff substantially with area youth ministers, and uh, they're on hand to sort of help us, uh, help us with students as they cope with this news. Cars on campus have Pray for Walker written on them. So many questions about what cost this high school junior his life. One possible cause, according to sources, is overhydration, drinking too much water. I take enough water in to to know that I'm not dehydrated. You gotta replenish your body. Runners working out at Parham Bridges Park said they had heard of dehydration, but not overhydration. It's happened to a Georgia team this month, a 17-year-old who drank too many fluids following a practice. It's hard to say there's no magic amount. Hap Hudson with HealthFlex Performance says there is no set amount that can cause overhydration. When the body gets too much water, it can actually shut down. Uh, to where it affects the brain, the kidneys, it does the opposite. The family of the fallen teen is asking for privacy as the Jackson Prep family huddles together to mourn the sudden passing of a young athlete who clearly touched all who knew him or competed against him. The Hines County Coroner confirming for me tonight that the official cause of death is something called hyponatremia. In essence, the sudden loss of sodium in the bloodstream and then overcompensating by drinking too much water. Live in Flowood, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News. Scott, thank you.